there's nine. Well, well, we'll crank through these. If you look at example number six, clearly algebraically I cannot plug in two. Because I'll get zero in the denominator, right? If I, if I were to plug that in, 2 cubed minus 1 all over 2 minus 2 is going to give me 8 minus 1, which is 7 over 0. And, uh-oh, we got a problem here. Oh, the limit does not exist because it's because it's undefined. Okay, well, the limit does exist. It's just we can't solve it algebraically. Now, there's a way that we can we could address that maybe but first thing we want to do is really the limit isn't what the value is a, is evaluated at it's what it's approaching so if I come in here and I turn on my calculator and I say x cubed minus 1 oh I probably should have put it in parentheses so I will do that divided by x minus 2 and I look at the graph as x approaches 2 what does this thing look like it's doing so if I hit trace and I go 1.999 really really close to 2 I get a number a y number it's a really negative y number it's negative 6,900 and something, something, something. So now if I plug in 1.9999, hit enter. Now I'm at negative, well, basically 70,000. Okay? So what do you think the limit of this thing's going to be as it approaches 2? Negative affinity. Infinity, right? But wait a minute. We have to look at it from both sides because I see some funny business going on over here. So let's plug in 2.01, just a little bit to the other side. Uh-oh. Now it's going the other way. Well, let's go a little bit closer to 2 and say 20001. Now I've got a really gigantic y value. So what does this mean? This means that as I approach from the right, what does my y value approach? 70,000. Positive infinity, right? So as I get as I come along from the right hand side, my y value approaches positive infinity, but as I come in from the the left hand side, it approach it approaches negative infinity. Now the only way we can have a limit is if the two sides approach the same value. Yep. Here they don't. So is it a, a limit does not exist. So what we would say is, now it has nothing to do with this, although that is an indicator that you're going to have a problem. What it has everything to do with is what it, what it actually approaches. So what we would do is you would just say, does not exist. DNE is how Mr. Adams likes to write it. Another way you could write it is does not exist this way. A backwards E with a slash through it. Or nah. No, because the people grading the AP calculus exam 